Hello and uh, thank you for the opportunity to present uh, our presentation in relation to the Symposium for 2021. My name is Gary Foster, I'm the Chairman of Pearl Global Limited. Um, we recycle tyres back into their constituent products and we've been working with Oztec and David Simmons um, on advanced environmental technology suitable for the asphalt industry. Yes, and my name is David Simmons. I'm the general manager of Oztec Asphalt Production, and we've been collaboratively working for the last year together on developing products uh, using the recycled products from Gary's business. So Pearl Global's been uh, in development for around about 12 years, and what we did recognise was the enorm enormous problem that we have globally in relation to tyres. Certainly from an Australian perspective, this is the city of Melbourne. Um, with the annual disposal of tyres um, in Australia. So quite a large problem and similar in Sydney, just to give you a, a, an idea of perspective. We also know that the asphalt industry in Australia is very large and consumes around about 10 million tonnes per annum of materials, whether raw materials or recycled materials. And we see an opportunity in working with Oztec and what we've done over the last 12 months to 18 months is developing these products which will basically assist in replacing some of these materials that are raw materials. So in utilising waste streams such as tyres, we certainly have an overwhelming positive social outcome from a carbon reduction perspective. What we do is we break down the tyres and we provide those products to Oztec um, for their asphalt and for their development. From Pearl's perspective, we have our carbon reduction uh, schemes we have waste as a natural resource and we have landfill diversion um, and this is scalable uh, across Australia and, and across the world. Pearl Global's facility is within two to three kilometres of Oztex asphalt plant uh, here in Queensland. On the left hand side we have um, our facility and our machines that basically convert the tyres back into fuels, recovered carbon black um, and steel. The raw fuel and the recovered carbon black goes to Oztec. The tensile steel um, goes to metal recyclers and our clean gas um, will be converted back into energy for our own use, which we've received a, a government grant from recently. So we have actually no waste in our process. So our process has very stringent controls around it and what that allows us to do is control the time, the temperature and the turbulence that piece of rubber passes through our, our series of ovens. And what that does, it actually produces a high value fuel um, of very good quality and obviously recovered carbon black, which then goes into, into the asphalt. So our fuel and carbon products are very suited to the asphalt industry um, as we've gone through the testing process with, with Oztec and produced great results. So operate, operating a decentralized model and going to where tires are, but also where infrastructure is, is very important to us and our growth and hence the reason why we're focused on the asphalt industry for our products. So with utilising our tyre derived fuel as a replacement for diesel and our recovered carbon black in the asphalt mix itself, what we've been able to see is um, 10 tyres utilised per tonne of asphalt that is produced, which is an exceptional result. So as Gary has alluded to earlier, uh, a lot of testing has gone on over the last 12 months heavily focused on R&D and on our basic products, our basic asphalts, and our speciality products. Some of the results you can see here um, clearly show that the, uh, the asphalt is improved by using the, the carbon black, the recovered carbon black in the product. I'll draw your attention to the binder contents that we use, the AC standard limitations within design, and what you can clearly see is we have a reduction in air voids, we have higher kilonewton strengths, and we have better compactability in our asphalts. So what we're finding is that while we're also utilising a recycled product that is a massive problem for the country, we're actually producing a better asphalt. So along this journey we found quite a few uh, pitfalls, I guess hurdles as we went. Some of those are related to the equipment and the processes at the asphalt plant. It certainly wasn't an easy journey. We had to uh, basically uh, extensively modify the burner, the fuel train, tanks, hazardous IDs, hazardous zones, 
uh, lots of safety regulations so that we can burn this fuel. It's a slightly higher rated fuel than a diesel. Um, we also had to install a recovered carbon black silo and the silo in itself uh, works very similar to a lime silo, exactly the same process. The product is then fed from a tanker, blown in, um, it's then extracted via a screw into the pug mill and, uh, and mixed with the rest of the products. Uh, that works really well, um, but again it was a process that we, that we followed along the way. We then uh, had to embark on our mixed design processes and validating that what we actually thought was happening was really happening. Uh, to do this we engaged TMR, uh, we engaged the services of Brisbane City Council to get all of the performance testing carried out, which, uh, which clearly showed that we were getting the improvements that we thought we were getting. Uh, we also, um, to, do, to really close the loop I guess, uh, we, we had to actually take these products to the road. Uh, the very first trial that we undertook was at Norwell Motorplex, which is a, a, it's a racing car circuit basically, and uh, we put it through the rigours of V8 supercars racing around the track and doing what it does to asphalt. We've been monitoring that over the last year, uh, or close to a year. So I guess when we talk about the improvements of the mix, we talked about uh, we were getting a stiffer mix, we were getting a, uh, a more compactable mix, so the recovered carbon black is acting more like a compaction aid, adding compaction, so voids in the field weren't so much a problem. We also find that um, the product itself, it retains a beautiful blackness, um, so it stays blacker for longer and, and that enhances the safety markings, line markings on the road. So it's one of these products that just seems to keep on giving. Um, the asphalt that we produce, it all meets and exceeds TMR specifications, which is really important to note. Um, on the flip, and one of our biggest drivers is to produce asphalts that have a heavily environmental bent. And uh, we replace 1.6 million litres of diesel fuel, fossil fuel, by utilising this tie-derived fuel oil, which is quite an incredible feat. The, uh, the, carbon, the recovered carbon black, we'll probably use about 4,000 tonnes a year, roughly. Uh, again, these two uh, products combined to give us the equivalent of, uh, we use 10 tyres per tonne. So we actually use 10 vehicle passenger tyres per tonne, which is, uh, is not the norm in the, in the asphalt industry. We generally focus on truck tyres for crumbed rubber. So this actually deals with the main problem. So in fact, by using the tyre-derived products, we reduce our carbon footprint by 6,800 metric tons of CO2 per annum. So that's the equivalent of taking 3,100 vehicles, passenger vehicles, entirely off the road, same emissions. And all of these metrics have been tested and proved by a third party, uh, an independent consultancy that uh, worked all the numbers out for us. So just to recap, the benefits that we're finding by using the recovered carbon black to enhance our products. We're increasing marshal stability by about two to three kilonewtons. That in effect is having an effect on the flow, which is being reduced by approximately one to two millimeters. They're significant numbers. So we're improving the strength and, the, and, the, and we're getting the color retention in our asphalt. Again, these are important. We're also finding that we're getting wonderful wheel tracking results, our wheel tracking is lifting our, our current C320 grades to greater than multi-grade and very close to polymer type results. So that, that's become really, really important for us. As I suggested, we're getting improved compactability both in the field and in the lab. About one third less compactive effort is required to meet air voids in, in situ. Um, and the products that we're producing around our stone mastic asphalts are providing exceptional skid resistance. So there's a real safety opportunity here for these products in the market. So this is a, one of our major trials which we carried out in January 21 with Moreton Bay Regional Council. We laid 2,215 tonnes of what we call carbon felt, which is a, basically an AC14 enhanced with our products. We actually repurposed 22,117 passenger tyres in this project and um, it produced wonderful results and was very well received by all. 
On behalf of Gary and myself, we'd like to thank you for listening to our presentation and, uh, and hope it was informative. Thank you.